Hi, I'm Liz Casely, and I'm a Lieutenant Colonel in the United States Army. I've been serving the United States Army for almost 18 years as a signal officer. As a signal officer, my role is to provide reliable and resilient communications to the warfighter. Over the past 18 years, I've served in Germany, Korea, Washington DC at the Pentagon, and I'm now currently serving in Hawaii. I've also deployed three times, once to Croatia and twice on two year-long deployments to Iraq. When I think about how I got started in the military 18 years ago, I don't believe it was ever my intention to make it a lifelong career. I knew that in 1991, when I graduated from Dwight Inglewood, I wanted to attend the United States Military Academy at West Point. I also knew that upon graduation from West Point, I would incur a five-year service obligation to the Army. It was during these five years that I had some amazing experiences and interactions with leaders and mentors that influenced me to be on the path that I'm on today. I recently had an interesting discussion with a friend that attended Dwight with me. She and I both believe that our education and experience at Dwight Inglewood not only prepared us for college, but also prepared us for life beyond that. I personally carried three things that I laid the foundation and began building at Dwight with me in my military career today. First, don't ever settle for mediocrity. Give it your best, give it 100% all the time. Second, think bigger than yourself. It's important that you know your role and understand your function, but it's more important that you understand the big picture and how you contribute to it. And lastly, build the team around you. Don't keep education, experiences, and knowledge to yourself. Share it with others. Pour yourself into others. This is how organizations get started. It's how they're built. It's how they grow, and it's how they continue to succeed. I was once told a long time ago that the measure of your success is not how an organization functions when you are a part of it, but how it continues to flourish when you are gone. Think about that. I'm often asked about how I feel serving in the military as a woman. This question usually throws me off because I don't consider to myself to be a woman serving in the military. I consider myself to be a soldier in the United States Army or a member of an excellent organization. My race, gender, religion, nationality are just a small part of who I am. The service that I provide the United States military is a direct reflection of who I am. And the fact that I happen to be a woman is just a package I come in. So my advice is, don't pay attention to and concern yourself with your packaging or the packaging of others. Just determine what your contributions are going to be. Influence others to provide contributions as well. And make sure that those contributions have a lasting, positive impact. Thank you and God bless.